guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is luleka if you're a returning subscriber or you're back to watch more um welcome back and if you're new happy to have you um if you do like this video consider subscribing um to all of you please like comment and share if you do enjoy this video um i spoke about this last week in my vlog that um i'm gonna be doing like one or two videos around my apartment and how i furnished it so this video is essentially just me sharing like five tips um, on how to prepare and plan essentially for furnishing your your space. Um, I know a lot of people might not be doing this by themselves. Maybe you have a partner, a husband, um, and you've recently got a place together and you are wanting to like furnish it now. Um, and now you have to merge sort of your different kind of styles maybe. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know whether this will help, but maybe it will. So continue to watch. Um, and for those of you who have always wanted to have your own space, have recently bought a new space, whatever it may be, uh, renting or buying, doesn't matter. It's your home and you can make it your home um, by furnishing it the way that you would like. So I'm going to share five tips with you. This is not going to be a long video, but yeah, I'm going to share five tips with you to furnishing your space first is to start dreaming um i think this is important because it sort of sets the tone about what it is that you want so looking at places like pinterest looking at home pages on instagram um going as far as actually even creating a mood board right so a mood board is, is essentially like whether it's digital or whether it's on a physical actual board that you buy and you basically cut out pictures from magazines or whatever or, or from websites you print you know pictures and you basically paste them on that board but it's essentially creating the kind of style that you want on an actual board um, and the different also furniture pieces so my process essentially i did not create a mood board <laughs> I didn't create one and but I am advising people to do it because I do think it's helpful um, it may not turn out exactly that way you might actually even change your mind which is one of the points that are coming up later but um, I think creating something in your head <laughs> in terms of what it is that you want to do in each space in your house so for example you might have like a kitchen space a lounge space they may be separated they may be open plan mine is open plan you can actually see my kitchen from where i'm sitting right now i'm sitting in the lounge um the living room essentially um and then you look at all those different spaces your bedroom your bathroom um, and you look at all of those different types of spaces on pinterest on instagram to get some inspiration mood board is about inspiration so um for me <laughs> my process was different because I did not create a mood board. I just had a style that I think I was leaning towards, which is basically mid-century modern. Um, there's different types of um, interior decorating styles. If you're a person that's watched Dream Home Makeover on Netflix, which is hosted by the McGee's, who own Studio McGee, um, the interior design company overseas, they're really like amazing and they've done different types of interior decorating styles um, and you can get you know the uh, mid-century modern as I said the Scandinavian kind of style I'll put all of these like styles up as I like mention them um, you also get people who just love like the screen hippie kind of space um, minimalistic spaces I know Kanye West and and uh, Kim Kardashian West um, have a home that's like that but I think Kim still lives in it now that they divorced but it's still like a minimalist space um, so there's different kind of interior decorating styles that you might lean towards um, there, there might be people who just love color the walls are purple the couch is yellow like <laughs> you know like it's all over the place it's like super super colorful and that is also an interior decorating style so I think if you're not a person that is like into like home stuff and you really don't know like pinterest is the best place to start in my opinion it is the best place to start and you just type one thing that you know that you like so if it is like purple walls or if it, if it is color walls or wallpaper you know just start there and type that and then you'll start to see rooms that have that kind of style and then it gives you a place to actually start so start dreaming about what it is that you want um a lot of the the things that i 
have in my home were really just me liking the individual pieces, right? When I say pieces, I mean there's a couch I saw, you know? And I was like, I want that couch. <laughs> and it's dangerous to actually do this, just by the way, because sometimes you like a couch, but your space is too small for that couch. So you're gonna have to change your mind about that couch. So <laughs> I think it's very important that if you're liking a certain piece of furniture, you need to make sure that it actually number one fits into your space and it's not gonna drown your space. Like now you have this massive couch and then everything else now has to be little, like a, a small little TV stand and a small TV and a, you know, you can't even put any other extra pieces in there because all you wanted was this big couch. <laughs> so yeah, be careful of those kind of pitfalls, you know, when you're doing your dreaming, just make sure that everything is realistic for the space that you're actually in. I would recommend that you're actually in the space first, <laughs> that you've moved in, you know, you're in it before you actually start dreaming about, you know, what you want to put in it. Because I was living in an empty house for... So I bought my apartment. If you watch my God Bought Me Apartment story, I bought my apartment in November of 2020. But I only moved in here in April of 2021. Literally the first week of April of 2021. My house was empty because I had sold a lot of the stuff that I had had before. So my furnishing journey was literally like one from scratch. Um, the only thing I kept were the essentials. I kept my fridge, which I still have. I kept my microwave, which broke at some point. So now I have a different microwave. Um, my washing machine I brought with me. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else, brand new. So the rest of the house was empty. Uh, oh, my bed. Sorry. I brought my bed from my previous place, but I have since sold it as well. And I only sold it when I bought a new bed because I needed a place to sleep on. <laughs> so yeah, that, those are the only things that I actually had. Um, so I was in an empty space from April to January of 2022. Okay. So my furnishing journey was literally a full year. It was from February 2022 right up until January of 2023 this year. So this year, January, was the last time I bought any furniture pieces for my house. Um, I was literally at the end. So it took me a year. For some people, it may take longer. And I say that because I really discourage anyone to buy things on credit. Like, I don't even know how to say this. Like... I don't want to offend anybody, but really, please, like, you can't be sitting on a couch that you're still paying for. Don't do it. Rather not have a couch. Rather be sitting on a camp chair. There were camp chairs in this house, literally. <laughs> there were camp chairs in this living room, and I did not care. I didn't care. I had a retreat with my friends in January of 2022, last year. I had a retreat they slept over i think it was about five of us or six of us my house was empty i did not care you need to not care about what people might think you need to go on this journey and really really take your time so let me move on to the other points because i'm gonna elaborate a little bit more on this the second point is to window shop right um window shopping is about understanding the pricing of things you know, because you can dream and dream and dream, but when you really don't know how much it is and you really aren't able to put your faith and prayer into what it is that you want, I don't, I don't see the point. Like, why are you dreaming if you're not going to ask God for it, you know? <laughs> so for me, going window shopping, getting pricing for everything, putting like a, a like something together, you know? <laughs> putting something together, I think is important. It helps you plan well. Um, it's it, the biggest part for me about going and getting pricing. It is an act of faith. It is an act of faith. You're building your faith because now you're literally saying, I don't have money in my bank account. I might not have it right now. Or you might, you might literally have 200,000 rands or 300, depending on your taste, because sometimes your taste is sitting at 80,000 rands to furnish your whole house. Some people is sitting at 150,000. Some people is sitting at 300,000 because maybe they're shopping at Wakelands. Maybe they're shopping, you know, in very, very expensive places. Um, or Wonders. Oh, God, such beautiful furniture at Wonders. My God. <laughs> 
but yeah you you go and you look wherever it is that you feel you know you want and i'm saying that you feel you want not that you feel you can afford because as i said this is a faith journey this one is a faith journey because everything that i had written down at the time i could not afford i couldn't i i was putting down things that were like over twenty thousand rands like for one item i was i'm serious guys like i was literally putting down things that i liked i liked the the sheets from Volpe's, right the 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 linen store like linen from there and I, as i said i was looking at places like wonders for my couch and a couch at wonders especially the, the couch that i really wanted it was forty thousand rands for the couch right so i was putting down things that i felt like you know what this is what i want for my home it wasn't things that i was writing down because i'm trying to be like realistic <laughs> because i was also like this is faith you know this is me believing god for what it is that i i feel like i want so i did that i did that so that brings me to the third point is writing things down right putting a spreadsheet together you need to put it together i literally categorized it i'm, I'm gonna actually show it to you so i had the spreadsheet where i had the lounge items underneath i had the prices on there i had the stores where you where, you, where i could actually get them um so it was literally lounge kitchen bedroom one bedroom two my office you know all of that stuff right i put it on like that i put the pricing on and when i looked at the amount at the end it was literally almost two hundred thousand rands i think it was about 180k and i was like okay i wasn't really bothered to be honest i wasn't bothered because i was like this can happen you know this can happen like 180,000 something and also 180,000 is like it's not the price of a wedding i think weddings are like a quarter of a million minimum <laughs> i think they're like 250,000 you know but for me if you can have that you can have this you know anything man anything you want you can basically have but writing it down putting it on a spreadsheet is very important please do that it also declares that you know what you've done the work this is what you believe in god for you can pray over it love that love that do that um then coming to number four take your time financially oh my god i don't care if you're buying one lampshade i don't care if you're buying a sheet for your bed i don't care if this month the only thing you can manage is coffee table books i, I it does not matter it really does not matter take your time financially if it means that the smaller stuff the little decor items which are not so expensive which may not even be over i don't know one thousand two thousand rands right start with those little things every single month right you you're gonna get to a place where you build up as you build your faith and as you start to see more things coming into your home your faith starts to build even more so for me honestly take your time financially um whether you're buying yeah as i said a little lampshade or a couch buy one thing at a time if you've got the money like you're sitting on that budget that you put down and it's 200 300 000 and you have it this is amazing good for you you could literally order all of that stuff all at the same time i didn't my process was not like that um i needed to literally every single month put aside money for finishing home right it was in my budget every month um i don't know if it was the same amount every single month i think what i had actually done and um i'm hoping that this is still on my budget. <laughs> i'm hoping this is still on my budget so i can actually show it to you but where i put when i talk about my budget i'm not now talking about my furnishing budget but i'm talking about my salary budget so at the end of my salary budget right I put in the different items. So basically what I did is that I went to the furnishing one. I picked certain things, right? Based on how much I could afford that month. So if that month I was able to put in 20,000 rands towards furnishing, what I did is that I went to the furnishing budget. I took stuff out that are worth 20,000. And then I would put it in for that month that this month, this is actually what I'm buying. And then next month, same thing. Um, if this month, maybe I only have, maybe I have other things to do. Maybe I want to buy a birthday gift for somebody. Um, and then I have maybe a little bit less. 
maybe this month i only have fifteen thousand. so then i would go into the furnishing budget again look at what's happening there and then choose things that you know i can afford that are worth fifteen thousand rands and it doesn't mean it's one item it literally could be six things that i'm buying maybe i'm buying a washing machine and then i'm buying this and this and this and this you know i bought all of that stuff in that particular month move on to the next month right so you can forecast all of this right you can literally see in your budget that this is how much i actually do have every month for this whole year and this is how much I'm going to put aside for the whole year and then take all that stuff from the furnishing budget and split it across all the months. So this month is linen, that linen and two chairs and um, curtains, for example. Let me not speak about the curtains, actually, because curtains you need first. <laughs> you need to cover your windows. <laughs> And that's actually the first thing I ever, 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 ever bought, guys. The first thing I ever, ever bought, which I used from the deposit from the previous place that I used to live at. When I got that deposit back, I spent money on curtains. I spent 7,800 rand. I even remember the amount. It's 7,800 rand at a curtain shop, literally to get customized curtains and eyelet rails. Because this house, when I bought it, did not even have curtain rails. Nothing. So I had to get eyelid rails. I needed to get a handyman to come and put them up. And I had to get the actual curtains made from scratch because they needed to be the exact proper size. So I know I spent 7,800 rand to literally put curtains in this entire house, right? Including lace curtains. So also, and that's a, that's a big undertaking. Like the curtain work, ah! guys, the curtain work, First of all, I do want different curtains now, but I'll come back to them. I'll, co I'll come back to this in my last point. <laughs> I do want different curtain rails, but these ones are perfect for now. Um, but yeah, get curtains first, please. <laughs> please. Please get curtains to cover your windows first before you start putting things in the home. Yes, please. <laughs> I would definitely recommend that. That's like a little thing inside of this, you know, number four. In taking your time financially, you can take your time financially, but please buy curtains. <laughs> yeah, please do that. Um, so yeah, I was explaining how basically I worked it in terms of my budget. That these are the things that I'm buying. And by the end of the year, the full year, 12 months, I had that goal that I needed to get everything by the, by the end. Like I needed to have gotten every single thing. And it was difficult because it's a very tough goal to set for yourself. Especially when you know that next year I want to be focused on something else or next year I actually want to travel. I don't want to still be busy with the house So if you're gonna have that kind of goal for yourself financially, you're gonna to need to make sure that you're sacrificing stuff Right in your budget every single month so that you can be able to reach it, right? So if we as Nisha in something, maybe you don't buy clothes, right for the whole year and you make sure that you don't gain weight <laughs> You know, you don't buy clothes, but you're taking all that money that you were going to use for clothes and you're putting it into your house. Like the sacrifices that do need to be made in order to have the things that you want in the time frame that you actually do want it. OK, so take your time. In, in, in my opinion, financially, I had a goal for myself. It was a tough goal, but I, it, it, it happened. I made it. I made it work with what God gave me. Um, yeah. I'm going to reiterate this again in this point of number four of taking your time financially. Please do not get anything on credit. Please, when you look at everything in your house, you must know that you bought it in cash. You must know that everything that is in here, apart from the fact that you have to insure it, you know, with home contents insurance, but everything that you have in this house is not something that you are paying 300 rand a month to pay back. Please do not do that. Please, I beg, you'd rather not have paintings on the wall. You'd rather not have cushions on your couch. You'd rather not have a rug. You'd ra I'm telling you, you would rather not. I would still let people visit me. I don't care what I have in this house, right? So yeah, please, please, please um, take your time. And then point number five, and I, I think I've alluded to this a little bit, is you're allowed to change your mind. Honey, this Facebook marketplace, you can sell stuff, okay? You can sell that couch that was here and now you're just like, whoa. Now that it's here with the curtains and everything, I don't like this couch no more. It can happen. <laughs> there are already things that I am planning to replace in the house. They are. 
And it's simply because for me, as I said at the beginning, I did not create a mood board. I liked certain pieces, right, that I had seen in furniture shops, that I'd seen on Instagram, you know, things that you just see in different places. And you're just like, I like this thing. And then you buy it and you put everything together that you like. And then you're just like, this room doesn't make sense. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying, that things can happen. Like you can change your actual mind. So there was a rug in this room. It was this um, living room rug, um, which I will show you when I do the apartment tour. I'm hoping to do that in the next video. So this rug, <laughs> it was, I bought a jute rug. It, the, the jute rug is a certain type of like material, it's sort of woven. Um, I bought it from Corey Craft. I bought it when I bought the couch, right? And the jute rug guys, when the jute rug came, I was like, no. It was literally in that first week. I was like, no, this is not working for me at all. So what I did is that I literally put it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I don't actually remember how much I put it on for. It might have been for, I bought it for like 4,000 something. I don't remember how much I put it for. I think I might have put it for like three grand. I'm not sure. But I just felt like it was not durable. It was not, you couldn't like clean it properly. No, it was not working for me. It was not working for me. So I put it on Facebook Marketplace. A lady came to come and see it. She liked it. She bought it. She took it, right? Perfectly fine. And then I just bought a new rug. That's what I'm saying. You can change your mind. There's other things I want to change now. I actually want new curtains in the living room. I actually want mustard yellow. I want mustard yellow velvet curtains for this room. Um, also to just bring in a pop of color. My style is very neutral in terms of colors. Um, I don't know, the color palette for me is giving very Scandinavian style, but Scandinavian also has like different textures, like there's wood in the room, you'd have like wooden chairs, um, apart from having like, you know, the beige neutral tones. Um, but for me, I see my, my style as honestly mid-century modern, simply because I like things like, um, you know, clean lines and like sort of bougie marble kind of thing. Yeah, I'm a mid-century modern girl, 100%. Um, I have some plants here and there, but it's only just to give life in this room. <laughs> That's the only reason why I got plants. A lot of people don't have plants in their homes, you know. <laughs> but yeah, especially when you're like going for that look of elegance or, or just looking very sleek and modern. So yeah, that is my style but even my coffee table guys i got this coffee table again from Corey craft um i've actually damaged it <laughs> that's the only reason why I, want, I wanted to replace it i've been thinking about it and i've been thinking about okay do i just have it re like respray painted from scratch or do i just completely replace the coffee table altogether i've been thinking about that i don't yet know what i'm gonna do which is why i haven't done it yet um, but the curtains, definitely, I think that's something that I've decided to change. Um, in the bedrooms, the only thing really I'm thinking about changing is the linen. You know, the linen colors. My linen has been completely white for the longest time. I would only buy crisp white sheets. And I like it, but they're very difficult to maintain in terms of making them, making sure that they still white, white, white. Especially after you keep washing them, keep washing them, keep washing them. Uh, and I only buy Egyptian cotton linen, literally. I, I only, only ever buy Egyptian cotton linen because of the 300 thread, thread counts. And I just prefer to sleep in that. But the, the white was my biggest problem. So I actually recently bought yellow. <laughs> I don't know why yellow is like a thing in my head. Yellow, I bought yellow linen for the main bedroom. And I bought like this cotton linen that looks a bit beige -ish. I've bought that for the guest bedroom. So I'm changing now the colors of the linen in the bedrooms because I was feeling some kind of way about it. I've changed the curtains in both bedrooms. Um, they were both like a gray. I'm going to try and put like a picture so that you can see what color they used to be. Now they're like a very dark, dark, dark gray. And the only reason why they are is because I needed blackout curtains for my house. <laughs> Oh my God, those previous curtains were not blackout. So essentially the sun was coming in in the morning and it would wake me up. But now, even if like the sun is coming in, I only see like a little bit of it, but the rest of the curtain just makes the whole room just black, just black, black, black and dark. So that you don't tell what time of the morning it actually is. 
So I've replaced the curtains in the bedrooms. I just need to replace the one in the lounge. I don't want to replace anything in the office at the moment. I like the office the way that it is. I don't really spend a lot of time in there anymore. I don't know why. I think in the summer I spend a lot of time in there, but not in winter because it's really cold. The sun doesn't go in on that side. Um, that's why I did not make that side a bedroom because the sun does not come in. Um, but yeah. Yeah, my office is cold, guys. But in terms of the furnishing, I'm, I'm still happy with it. Um, and I'll show you that, as I said, when I do an apartment tour. When I do the apartment tour, I will let you know how much everything was um, that I purchased. Uh, because I, I still have it on that spreadsheet. So what I did is that <laughs> the spreadsheet that I had, my dreaming spreadsheets, I then turned it into a recon spreadsheet. Guys, I'm a project manager. Please, ne? please don't judge me. I am very organized, extremely, it's bad. <laughs> but I turned that into a recon spreadsheet. So basically everything that was there on the list, I created a new list and then I put the actual amounts. Um, the reason why I put the actual amounts is that some things, when you actually do have the money now to go and buy it, sometimes you find that there's a special, a discount. It's, it, it's less than what you actually budgeted for. So that's why I had to have an actual, to also see the comparison between how much did I budget for? Is it like, what, 180000 And how much was it really? Because it could just be 150000 you know, in terms of what I actually purchased. So I will do that when I do the apartment tour. But yeah, that is, you're allowed to change your mind, okay? It, it's, it's, it's important for you to know that when you're not married. You are not married to furniture. Ever. I don't believe that. I will never believe that. You can always change your space. As I said, when I moved in here, I would sold everything that I had. And I wanted to start from scratch because I wanted to make my house a home, right, for myself. So change your mind if you need to change your mind. Sell something if you need to sell something. Um, sometimes you don't even need to sell it at a lower price. You can sell it for the price that you bought it for, especially if you bought it like last week and you don't like it. It can happen. It literally can happen. So... Yeah, you're allowed to change your mind. And then just a bonus little tip, right? If you're going to buy something, guys, especially on Instagram. If you're going to buy something on Instagram. Because <laughs> there's so many stores on Instagram. People sell clothes. People sell furniture. People sell home decor stuff. But specifically for this video, we're talking about um, like home, um, home decor and, you know, furnishing. Please be careful, guys. Some of these IG stores are actually scams. They're not actually real places. Yes, there's somebody behind it, and they'll talk to you. They'll talk to you on DM. They'll tell you how much something is. They'll give you banking details. You give them money, and then they don't deliver anything. Like, literally, they, they're, they're scammy. Scammy vibes, right? So, something like that sort of almost happened to me. <laughs> Something like that sort of almost happened to me. I don't know if this place is scammy, right? And I remember putting them on Instagram to be like, guys, don't buy from this place. And I still wouldn't recommend that anybody buy from this place. So I bought a TV stand. This was last year, March. March or April. One of those two months. I bought a TV stand. I don't even think I had a TV yet. Did, did I buy my TV yet? I don't remember. I, I might... I think I might have. I think I might have because Wade, my this is my friend's husband, he came to actually put up the TV stand. I mean the TV on the wall. Because my TV is like, you probably can see it in this video. It's literally on the wall. So he came to put it up. But I didn't have a TV stand at the time. So I had ordered one. And they basically said they'd take two or three weeks or some, something along those lines. Two to three weeks to deliver. Two to three weeks comes nothing. And then I message and I'm like, What's going on? And these people have an actual website. So they don't just have the Instagram posts, you know, of furniture pieces. They've got an actual website. And on their website, you can even add to cards. You can pay on the actual website for whatever it is that you're looking for, etc. Right? So I bought a TV stand. And I, I will share the place, actually. I feel like I'm, I'm going to share this place, like, at the end of this. I'll share which place it is. Um, so I bought a place. I bought a TV stand. Um, and then they weren't coming back to me. I was sending messages. Uh, guys, I even, I think I went and I traveled for work because I remember saying to them, please, can you deliver on this particular day? I am not going to be home for the next two weeks or something like that. I think that's what I said to them. And then 
nothing 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 good to leave guys it's like so quiet and i'm like getting worried now because i'm like oh my god i paid so much money guys that tv stand was seven thousand seven hundred with the delivery fee right i was like yeah 7.7 .7. and i was like oh god i've lost like seven thousand seven hundred rand okay um <laughs> so then after some time because it had been so long guys i think they didn't respond to me for like another good three weeks so i waited three weeks and then there was another three weeks so now it's six whole weeks and this thing is not being delivered and they're not communicating with me hi i give up i'm like you know what lord it's okay i you will restore you will restore me it's fine i look for another place right so this place they also on instagram and this time i was just like i need to find out if this place is real because i like these stands right i like them i didn't i didn't like all the stands that are out there at, at home first of all at home is very expensive but like at, at home or mr price home i did not like any of their tv stands i didn't guys i looked i looked everywhere guys i looked everywhere couldn't find a tv stand that i liked Anyway, so I like these people's stands, you know? And these people are not like your commercial stores in the mall. Hi! Find another one, and I'm like, yo. Then I, I, I start to investigate first. Like, I do, like, reviews. I look at reviews, and I'm like, okay, there's reviews. There's reviews on their website, but they could be fake. And, I'm <laughs> and then I call them, and I'm like, um, do you guys have a showroom? And they're like, yeah, we do. This is where it is. You can come. So I went... It's like, you know that dingy part of Joburg, like city deep, there, like, Emma Femini, basically. Oh my God, like, you know when you're scared to drive, there by Joe Slovo. <laughs> like, oh my God, <laughs> like the dingy part of Joburg. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, these people are going to get there, they're going to kill me. I don't even know if this place is real. Anyway, so I went, it's in an office park. Then I'm like, oh, okay, oh my God, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. Okay, fine. Um, I go and uh, they've got stuff in there. They've got stuff that they've advertised on Instagram. They've got things. There's TV stands, there's bed things, there's, you know, there's, there's different types of, they have an actual office and the lady is like taking me through, showing me everything. I'm like, okay, this, this place seems a little bit more real, okay? And I was like, okay, I would like to order. So I, I order a stand from them. And their stand is this stand that I'm actually sitting next to right now. <laughs> so this stand, I think their stand was much cheaper. It was about 4000 something. Um, I paid a deposit. And then when they said it was ready for delivery, I, I paid the rest of the money. And they delivered it. And they delivered in two weeks. Like, two weeks. It was done. And they had made it from scratch and i was like oh my gosh anyway it arrived my tv stand is beautiful it's amazing hi like not a week later do i not get a message from the other people the scammy ones who decided to ghost me hi the email says dear whatever whatever please note that your tv stand will be delivered in the next two days i was like what I was like, first of all, where have y'all been? Number one. Number two, this is real? Like, and then you know what I said to myself? I'm like, they're lying. They're lying, these people. They are just playing games with me. They're not going to deliver my TV stand. Nothing. Hi, two days later, I make sure I'm home. I, I make sure that I am at home that day. I, I get a call from the gates. I There's a delivery. I'm like, are you sure? And the guy's like, yes. I'm like, what is it? He's like, oh, it looks like a TV stand. I'm like, I, bro, this thing is real. Like, my other TV stand is here. <laughs> that is so crazy. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the TV stand is here. They deliver it. It is exactly the TV stand I wanted. It is exactly the TV stand I wanted. But here I am with my beautiful white TV stand in my house now. And I like it. Like, I'm... You know, falling in love with it. Hi, the other one arrives now. I have two stands in the house and they can't fit in the house. Now I'm like, what? Because now I have two stands and this doesn't make any sense to me. Like, so what I did is that, oh guys, I can't believe I did this by myself. So I literally moved this white one and I moved it like this way. And then I put in that other one, the original one that I had bought. 
and I put it there under the TV and I was like, I don't like it. Crazy, right? Like, I don't like it. <laughs> so I actually gave the TV stand to my mom. So my mom has the stand, the other one, the original one. And then I kept the second one that I bought. But guys, please still be careful. Okay. This is the name of the store that I bought from that ghosted me. Housed by Muse. I would not recommend and I think for me, it's because I don't think they make the stand from scratch. I actually think they buy it from overseas and they import it. And I think it was taking long to come. But my biggest thing was, why didn't they just communicate and say, oh, actually, we outsource our stuff. We don't make it from scratch here. It's made in China or it's made somewhere. Please wait another four weeks. I would have understood that. I would have been okay with it, you know. But don't like now ghost people and then randomly you know so just another note when i was like really angry at these people for ghosting me i decided to like look for any reviews or comments and i could not find any i couldn't find any bad comments on their page i couldn't find any comments on the internet and then eventually after digging and digging and changing the name i found it on on twitter i found it on twitter but i only found five comments and people were saying oh that place is scammy there was one lady who was saying that I spent 21,000 rands on couches. I never got them. I DM'd her and I said to her, listen, like these people ghosted me for a while, but then they came back and they actually delivered. Like, I don't know if they've done that with you. And she was like, it's been a year. They've never come back to her. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Please don't order from here. Don't. I mean, I think I was just, it was the Lord's work, to be honest. I wouldn't even say I was lucky. Maybe it was God. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. All I know is that I got my thing, eventually. But please be careful of the IG stores. If you're going to buy, it does not matter whether you're buying a mirror. It doesn't matter. You know, that's another thing that I got in the house from Instagram was my mirrors in the house. Oh, guys, please be careful. Like, make sure first, before you put your money in, that the place is actually real. So that's like a little bonus tip. Um, I hope you found this video a little bit helpful. I'm going to go into a lot more detail when um, I actually do the apartment tour. I'll tell you where I bought each thing from and how much I bought it for. And I hope it just helps, you know, in terms of maybe the furnishing style that I have is similar to yours or it's not the same. It doesn't have to be the same. What I'm saying is that some of the furniture items you might like and you might want to go and get for yourself. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward I look forward to the next video. If you like this one, please like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. Click on the subscribe button. Um, I'm, I'm just enjoying this part of having to share like myself um, and my home. So, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.